Hello and welcome to SKR Yoga and Wellness. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel today. My name is Sam and I'm gonna be leading you through a yoga practice to help you chill out. So maybe you're holding on to some anger, some frustration, um, maybe a little bit of stress and anxiety. Whatever it is, that negative feeling that you're holding on to, we're gonna to use today's practice to just face it head on, work through it and let it go. That's our goal for today, all right? We're gonna start standing and you don't need any props, just a little bit of space. And to start off, we're gonna be super unstructured. I just want you to shake your arms. Shake your arms out, maybe shake your head, maybe shake your legs. Just really let it go. You're not the one doing this in front of a camera, so you've got no excuse to let it go. No inhibitions, just release it. Release whatever that feeling is that you're hanging on to. Just let it go, shake it out. Shake all of your limbs. Maybe you want to jump around, jump in a circle a little bit, whatever you need. And if at any point you need to let out a sigh or a groan or a yell, anything like that, hopefully you're by yourself at home and you could just let it go, right? Anything that you need. And we'll settle the body a little bit, just coming into a wide stance. Let's just breathe your arms up, make a really big shape, and then exhale fold forward over those legs, nice and easy. Let's right away bend, plie through both knees, stretch it up, send your tailbone to the sky. Feel free to shift your weight a little bit while we're here as we bend once again and stretch. And now from here, taking your left hand to your right foot and extending your right arm up overhead. Try to keep your hips really nice and square as you do this. So I'm not mirroring you here. So I do, in fact, have my right arm extended up to the sky and let's exhale to bring it back down. Same thing, other side, you're gonna reach your right hand to your left foot and finding that twist, reaching your left arm up to the sky, keep your hips square, isolating that twist through the upper back. Should feel really good here. And then we exhale, take it down. Let's take a flat back, reaching the arms up to come all the way up to stand and from here, turning the legs out so your heels are in, toes are out. Let's reach the arms out to the side and then up overhead right beside your ears. And on an exhale, we're gonna bend through your elbows and through your knees, finding goddess pose. Nice and strong. I want you to feel like a warrior here, like you're facing whatever it is that's bothering you. Head on, ready to tackle it. You are stronger than whatever it is. And we inhale to push back up, finding that really wide, open position. Exhale, push down. Keep your knees opening over your toes, elbows opening over your knees. So we're really wide. And maybe you can shift your weight a little bit side to side here. Getting ready for that battle. We inhale to push up. We exhale one last time back down. Now this time you're gonna reach over, stretching into the right side of your body. And let's take it up, same thing, other side. Just stretching into the side body. Nice and quick. And now you should be over towards your right leg here. And if you're not, you can just shift over. And then we're gonna sink down, extending that left leg out. Your right heel stays on the floor. Skandasana, we come over to the other side. Sitting in those hips. Again, shift. And this time maybe you're able to lift the arms again, feeling nice and strong like that warrior facing whatever it is that's on your mind. And we're gonna take one more, so we're bending into the right leg to finish off. And then from here, you're gonna turn your hips, turn your body, drop your back knee, finding a low lunge. Now here is a perfect opportunity to give yourself a nice good sigh. We're gonna do a port de bras So breathing the arms forward and up. And then as they go back, uh, just let it out. Nice big sigh. Again, inhale the arms up. Exhale, sigh, let it out. Nice and big, last one, inhale. Oh, exhale, let it go. Frame your front foot with both of your hands. Just shift your hips back, flexing that front foot and release your head over that front leg. Take a couple deep, deep belly breaths. Really let your spine relax here. So if you're holding on to any tension unconsciously, try to tune into your body and just let it go. So we're spilling our weight over that front leg. 
and we'll extend a little bit through the spine. Bring both hands to the inside of that front leg so it can sweep all the way around, finding a twist. So it's coming to the opposite side of your mat. Your body is twisting towards that heel. And again, finding a nice long stretch from your heel all the way up into your side body. And we'll take it back to center, square yourself off. We're on hands and knees here. You're gonna bend into that right leg. Your left hand will reach back to grab the outside of your ankle and push into that hand, finding a nice back extension here. You might even feel a stretch through the front of your chest on the left side. Try and push that knee even higher. And then on an exhale, we release. Curve your nose to your knee. And now from here, you're gonna walk your hands forward, bring that knee with you, taking it into a pigeon pose. So squaring off the hips as best as you can here. If you need to grab a block or a cushion, go ahead and do that. We're gonna inhale, lift ourselves up nice and tall. Exhale, take that forward fold. And again, just like we did in that previous forward fold over the right leg, you wanna release everything in your upper body. So consciously think of relaxing over that hip, letting it go. Trying not to hold on to that tension, that frustration, that stress, whatever it is that's on your mind, just let it go. Release, surrendering into gravity. Take five more breaths here. And we will roll ourselves back up. Use your hands to help you. From here, plant your hands underneath your shoulders. Tuck your back toes so that you can push yourself up, finding a nice downward facing dog here. And do what you need. Paddle through the feet. Shake out your head. Move your hips side to side. Nice and easy. And we're gonna shorten this downward dog ever so slightly, so bringing your feet a little closer to your hands and bending through the knees. Now from here, you're gonna take your right hand, grabbing the outside of your left ankle, maybe stretching through those legs and coming up to your fingertips on your left side. Now, if you can't get fully stretched knees here, that's totally fine. You just wanna lengthen enough that you can feel that stretch through the back of your legs also focusing on that twist through the spine. Twists are a great way to both energize and detox the body. So we're compressing and expanding our internal organs here. And that just helps you come into a state of rest and digest. Helps those cortisol levels lower so that our body can relax and we'll release. We're gonna go right away to the other side here. So bend through the knees again. Left hand now comes to the outside of your right ankle. Twisting underneath your right armpit, maybe stretching through both legs up onto your right fingertips. Again, feel that length through your legs to help you facilitate this deep twist through your spine. And as always, breathing nice and deep. And we'll release, take it back to your full downward dog. Maybe you wanna take a flow here, maybe you wanna stay. If you're gonna flow, we'll inhale to plank. Exhale, you can lower your knees if you wish, lowering all the way down. We're being nice and chill, doesn't matter. Inhale, arch. And exhale, take it nice and easy into your downward dog. Now from here, let's step the left foot forward between the palms, finding your low lunge on the second side. So we have those sighs with our port de bras once again. Keep your legs nice and steady. We inhale to breathe the arms up. Exhale, let it go. Nice and strong, inhale, breathe it up. 
<sighs> exhale, let it go. Inhale, up. Exhale, let it go. Circling the arms back. And now we frame the front foot, send the hips back. Release your body. Let go of any tension. Flexing all the way through that front foot. Relaxing your neck, relaxing your shoulders. Breathing, just giving in to the stretch. And we'll walk ourselves back up, taking your left hand on the inside of that left leg so it can swing all the way around, finding that twist, stretching into the side body. Engage through that left leg and taking it back to center right away, lifting your heel up. Feel nice and square through the body and your right arm will reach for that left leg, pushing into it to release. Releasing into that back. This might test your balance a little bit, but that's okay. And we will release that foot nice and easy. Contract, bring that knee in towards your nose, curving your spine. And then we'll walk the hands forward, bring the knee with you, taking it into pigeon. So wrapping that right hip forward, sitting up nice and tall. And on an exhale, we release forward taking it into our forward fold. Forward folds here are also a great way to signal our body to relax, to ignite our parasympathetic nervous system so we can release stress, release tension, finding rest. So really let the upper body go. Give in to that gravity, fully surrender. And from here, let's roll ourselves back up to a seated position. And this time, instead of coming to downward dog, you're gonna roll towards the open side of your legs, coming to take a seat. You can stay facing the short edge of your mat, but I'm just gonna turn to face you. It'll be a little bit easier here. And I'm gonna mirror you, so you can exactly copy what you see on your screen. So you're gonna take your right shin, cross it in front of your left. And then on an inhale, grow nice and tall. On an exhale, your left hand will reach for your right knee as we just take a simple twist through the spine. Feel that your sit bones are really grounded. They're what's anchoring you in this twist. One more deep breath. And we will unwind back to the front right away. Inhale, both arms up nice and tall. We exhale, taking that forward fold over your legs. And just hanging out here. Make sure as we do this that your hip bones stay connected. So you don't wanna roll forward onto your heels, but we're trying to maintain that anchor point so that we can also stretch a little bit into the glutes. And from here, you're just gonna walk your hands over to the left side, just finding a little bit of a stretch through that outer glute and through the right side of your back. Maybe your forehead can rest onto your knee. And using your hands to help you walk yourself back up to center. And we're gonna change cross of the legs. So now your left leg is in front. Inhale, grow nice and tall. Exhale, take your right hand to the outside of your left knee and twist. Breathing into the belly nice and deep. Feel that this twist is really coming from your navel. Get one more centimeter in your twist, looking back, and we'll release back to the front right away. Inhale the arms up. And we exhale, take it forward over top of that left leg. Again, make sure we're anchoring our sit bones into the floor. <clears throat> Relaxing your neck. And 
and walking your hands over to the right side this time. Maybe your forehead rests on your right knee. Just intensifying this stretch through your outer hip and through the back. Continuing to surrender into this forward fold, just let it go. And use your hands to walk yourself back up, finding your cross-legged position. And you can just lower down onto your back. I'm gonna bring myself back around here, coming all the way down. And you're just gonna hug your right knee into your chest, pull it in as, as hard as you can. Just give it a really big squeeze into your rib cage. And then on an exhale, you're gonna take that right leg, cross it over the left side of your body. Your right arm can extend out beside you. Just taking a nice, easy, relaxed twist here. This will be our last twist of the class before we take Shavasana. Deep breaths in through the twist in your belly button. Maybe you feel a little bit of a stretch towards your outer right glute. And now surrendering even further into the floor. Just letting it go. You don't need any muscle engagement here. You can just let gravity take over. We're gonna repeat this same twist on the other side. So powering up the core slightly just to bring your right knee back into your chest. And we're gonna go ahead and do that on the other side. So lifting your left knee up, hugging it in first, give it a nice big squeeze into your belly, into your rib cage. You can let your foot and your right leg totally relax. And then we'll carry it over into a twist. Again, fully relaxing and letting go. Taking those deep breaths. back to center nice and easy one final pose before we finish off our class is happy baby so bending your knees in bringing your elbows on the inside of your knees grabbing the outsides of your feet and then gently guiding those feet towards your armpits and maybe rocking a little bit side to side just like a happy baby So hopefully we're no longer holding on to any of that negative energy. We've been able to release it and express it. And now we can just roll around like a happy baby. <laughs> and coming back to center, just releasing your legs. Let them lower down, coming into Shavasana. Letting your arms rest by your sides. Your legs are open, just taking up space here. And now here we have the ultimate opportunity to just surrender. And just take note for yourself on how you're feeling at this point, as opposed to at the beginning of our practice today. Do you feel a sensation of release anywhere in your body? Were you holding tension unconsciously? Do you now feel more space in this area? And as we continue with our Shavasana, 
I'll invite you to focus in on your breath. I'm not doing anything too fancy here. I just want you to get your inhales and exhales to be the same length. So for example, maybe you're inhaling for four beats and exhaling for four beats. And maybe as you continue, you want to try and extend your inhales and your exhales. So maybe you get yourself to five beats and six beats. But just keeping that breath super consistent and super steady. Take about a minute or so of that steady breath. So you're welcome to stay in the Shavasana for a little bit longer, or if you'd like to wake up, you can start to wiggle your fingers and toes. Maybe take the arms overhead and give yourself a nice big stretch through the body. And when you're ready, just rolling onto your right side. No rush, rush whatsoever. There's nowhere to be, nothing to do. Take all the time you need. And then eventually, just making your way up into a seated position. And just take a minute to find center in your body. Feel your sit bones connected to the floor. Feel that steady breath that we just worked on in Shavasana, continuing here in your seated posture. And let's just turn your palms up to face the sky, maybe connecting your pointer finger and thumb. And just feeling that peace, that clarity, that release through the body. And with gratitude for today's practice, we'll bring our hands together in front of the heart, bowing forward. Namaste. Thank you for doing this practice for me to help you chill out. I hope you do feel a little bit more chill and a little bit more relaxed so you can go forward with a more rested and calm, clear state of mind. Please, before you go, do not forget to like and subscribe. I would really, really appreciate it. And I hope I will see you on the mat again very soon. Have a great rest of your day.